Hey guys, welcome to the studio. As you know, it's it's basically complete. I constructed this entire place during COVID myself just to stay busy as a producer and a DJ. There was not a whole lot I could do. And like one of the last pieces I was thinking about getting was like a wireless charging pad right here, right next to where I usually work, just to put my stuff on there and get it charged. And a perfect fit would have been actually the device by Apple, the Air Apple Power, what was it named? Apple Air Power. They actually even announced it in 2017, right, with the iPhone X, the first one or one of the first ones that could wirelessly charge. And they never delivered. They just didn't talk about it for a while and then eventually announced that they're not going to deliver that product. They're having problem constructing it. But I actually found a company that a couple of years later, right now, actually made something that does everything Apple promised. I'll test it, I'll let you know if it's that good, if another company actually beat Apple and delivered right here, or if they just didn't. I'm saying it's you gotta, you gotta let me know. You gotta love me or let me go. So let's maybe start with the unboxing. I opened the package a couple of days ago classic looked really good you open it up there is then just the wireless charging pad it looks really good black i like it leather finish on top and right underneath you got your power brick which has these weird adapters for different countries feels a little flimsy not a huge fan of it and then of course also usb-c cable to connect the charger to the wireless charging pad the device itself looks really good I, I like the design, the the top right here feels like leather. It's probably some sort of form of fake leather. It's heavy, it's a lot heavier than I thought. It's also a lot thicker than I thought. I mean, still slim, but this right here, if you compare it to an iPhone 12, yeah, it's maybe twice as thick. On the back, you got the charging plug and that's it. I mean, it, it's a charging pad. There's there's really not much to it. So back then in 2017, the promise by Apple was a charging pad and being able to charge three devices. So your phone, probably AirPods and an Apple Watch. I don't, I don't have an Apple Watch. I don't know. I just... I just don't like wearing something 24 seven. And this Nomad base pad promises the same, three devices, but no Apple Watch. The Apple Watch can't be charged with it because the Apple Watch doesn't use the key wireless charging protocol. It uses something Apple specific like, so you need a special charger for it and it's not built right into this pad. So Apple Watch doesn't work with it. So you're left with still three possible devices, but I mean, maybe for people that have two phones. So that's already the first thing why Apple probably failed, because even now, a couple of years later, it's still not possible to have three devices that you can place wherever and one of them being an Apple Watch that uses a different standard for wireless charging. I mean, like how? Because right now it's just like achieving all of it by having actually 18 individual charging spots built right in here. And if you want to have an Apple Watch that could be placed anywhere, you have to squeeze it in between or on top. It, it's just it's just physically not possible. Another huge reason probably why Apple never actually delivered on it is the price. This pad right here costs 250 euros. That's extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. You could buy for 10 to 20 bucks, just three separated devices. That's actually what I've been using up until now. Yes, it's not that fancy. It's not leather. It's less heavy. It's slimmer, but it's just like one device, put it on here. It just works. And for 250, I could, I could buy a lot of these. About health concerns, I don't really know. I'm not an expert if this affects you in any kind of way, if it's like on your nightstand every night charging three devices, emitting whatever, I really don't know. That's that's something everyone has to 
figure out for themselves. I think back then the rumors with the Apple power charging device was that it was heating up way too fast, way too much, and was actually so warm that you couldn't touch it eventually. And for safety concerns, they just canceled it. This one right here doesn't warm up. I've used it now for a couple of days. It doesn't, it doesn't get warm in any kind of way. But there are some other things I don't like about it. Let me show you. First device on here, randomly placed. Starts charging, that's good. Now let's place the second device on here. Phone still charging, all fine. But the AirPods don't start charging. So let's maybe move them around a little. No charging. Right here, no charging. Up there, no charging. Let's try it out here on this very cheap one. Immediately starts charging. Let's move it a little. Here it stops. Here it's charging again. So this one right here, the cheap one, just has one coil right in the middle. Maybe extends as wide as the airport case. And within it, it charges, but here, it doesn't. It's right here in the center. Let's maybe remove the phone. Now it starts charging. Now let's see if we can add the phone. Also get it to start charging. Yes. But now the AirPods stop charging again. Let's move them again. Phone is still charging, AirPods not charging. No matter where I place them, as long as both are on. Let's try now the reach at least of it. Right here in the corner, it's charging. Here, not anymore. But yeah, as long as the AirPods are placed on it, even in the corners, it's charging. Oh, now, now it actually works. Now, now the AirPods not charging anymore, just the phone. I think you get the point, like I'm disappointed. It, it never for me charged more than one device. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong, but I'm using the original power brick, the original cable. It's plugged in into a power source that is powerful enough. I think this is 35 watts. I think the iPhone, this is the mini, which I think the big one takes 20. This one takes, I think 15, 17, something like that. And the AirPods basically almost nothing. So it should be able to pull it off, but it just can't for me. So this is going back, I'm not keeping it. If anyone knows if I've done anything wrong, let me know but it just doesn't work for me. And if something costs 250, a charging pad, I just want to get it out of the box and it should work. The, the placement is, is good, like almost no matter where you place it, as long as the device is on it, it's charging. But for me, not charging multiples. Like right here, we have three dots that indicate how many devices are on it and charging. And it, it never got to two. I haven't even tried and tested three. So uh, Apple failed and so far also everyone else failed. It at least has one positive point. Now I have 250 more to spend on more gear right here for the studio. For the rest of the day, just back on focusing on music making, working on some new tracks that I will hopefully be able to share with you as soon as possible. I'm saying it's you, gotta, you.